YouTube, 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 what's poppin', man? You know that grind ain't stopping. Shout out to my notification gang. Don't forget to get that bell to ring, man. And hey, don't forget to like that video. Yes, yeah, sir. I just got done eating some almonds. I got these hyper dogs up in here. But I wanted to come to y'all, shoot a video. Um, my grandpa, uh, he just passed. He passed uh, last Friday. So that's why I'm in my hometown. Had to attend the funeral and everything. So uh, rest in peace to my grandpa. Cause, uh, he was like a father to me, but you know, I know he was he was sick and everything. So, you know, there's what it is. Rest in peace. But um, other than that, my uncle, he told my uncle to take care of me and everything. And my grandpa, he was known for having like a bunch of cars and stuff, so. My uncle was like, man, whatever you want, just let me know, man. So my grandpa, he passed, he passed everything on to me, whatever. He, he said I can get whatever car I want. And they got a lot of cars, but he did say, one thing he said I could have was that uh, truck, that blue and white truck over here. So I'll show y'all that in a second, but look at this, man. It's kind of like, it might be a small issue, but it's, they had a bunch of old schools, man. They got dunks out here. It is, it's a four-door dunk, but it's still a dunk, man. It's, you know, they got all these cars out here. This is my old car. I used to own this car uh, at Ford Taurus SHO I was telling y'all about. I don't wanna open it up. Might be something in there. Yeah, man, they got the little, got a little CD player in there. I might take that CD player out, but yeah, it had the leather seats. It had the sunroof in it. They did get messed up though from just sitting around, so. It used to look a lot better than this, but, you know, sitting up here in the sun. That's right there. That's my old, my grandpa's old car. Now I'll never get rid of nothing for some reason, man. It's crazy. That's another old school. I think this is a uh, Ford LTD right here. I don't know what year it is exactly or nothing, but. Got a bunch of bro ham. Well, bro -um for some people. Yeah, it looked like this one actually be running. But uh, I know the roof kind of, the roof might need a uh, some work, some metal work. He said I can. He said I can have this truck right here. This old Chevy. It's blue and white got a little rust. I think that probably can be fixed. I don't know. I ha this is my first time looking at it, y'all. So that's it. I had to get the get everything redone, the dash done, and the seats not bad. Nah, they need done. The seats need bad. I mean, seat need done. All the interior and everything. Got a little hole in the floor, but that's expected. I think this is a 79. Let's see what we got on the plate. That thing look good, though. I can't read the years. What we got? I don't know. I don't know how to read this one. This one a little different from the new age stuff. Cold's pretty good, though. I never even heard of this. The nine's a 10. That's crazy. So, yeah, I might be taking this one fixing it up this is moving truck he had his own moving company him and my uncle so pretty sure my uncle's still gonna be doing like little jobs and stuff and this right here this is the car i was telling y'all about back in the day this is my first car like, he keep all the history this right here is uh my chevy note man a lot of memories in this car it's all dirty now but yeah, I did the tent job on it. I tinted this like years ago. I tinted the windows on it. I put an end dash in there. Everything. This is my little bucket, man. It's a carbureted little four cylinder. I'm pretty sure under here is a um probably a I can't remember that pearl, that purple, yeah. That Park Avenue. That park purple park avenue on here. This is my uh great grandma, the old car. Then back here. I hope it ain't no snakes in there back here. We're in Arkansas, so it ain't too many snakes. But this is a brand new car cover, so. It's like a brand new car. I mean, not a brand new car, but a brand new car cover. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is my uncle. He had a, a car that was painted like a cow, man. I don't know. They did some wild things back in the day. But this was back from when he was like a teenager. My uncle, he like 50-something now, so he still got it. And they got this right here, this Buick. What is it, the Roadmaster? Buick, uh, uh, Buick special. 
Let's see this one. Sparky. This name not really Sparky, but that's some good dogs. Yeah, man, it's my old Lenovo. Somebody took the uh the wing off my joint, man. What's going on? I mean, I ain't gonna drive it, but I don't know how the wing came on. Got some more old trucks out here. It's crazy. They keep every single car that they had. <clears throat> but yeah, man. So I'm probably gonna be looking into fixing up just to and just to tribute to like my grandfather. If I do get one and I end up fixing it up and stuff, I probably um I probably won't sell it. You know, I'll probably just keep it in the family, pass it down to my kids if I have kids eventually. And then, I mean, if I don't have kids, I'll pass it on to like one of my little cousins or, you know, something like that. But apparently this thing run. I haven't seen the motor or anything. I probably should pop the hood while I'm already back here. Let me see if I can pop the hood, y'all. Yeah, man, I wanted to come get some footage. Oh yeah, that thing oiled up. They got a Cadillac over there too, a Fleetwood, with old school. I know my grandpa, he had a white Cadillac as well. Like a, um, give me one sec. All right, y'all, we back. I finally got the hood open. So this is a factory AC car. Definitely got to have AC. I don't ride without AC in Cali, man. And look, like you got a new cover on the uh, brake booster. You got the compressor in there. That probably needs to be replaced. Got the got the little condenser over there. Ain't got no headers in there. This all factory motor. They don't do no upgrades. My uncle and the grandpa they keep it all factory. So the roof in good condition. I mean the hood in good condition. Oh. Took me a while to uh get it open, but if you can see right here, that's where you open the hood at on these. So yeah, man, I wanted to come give y'all that footage. Show y'all like a little piece of my life, what's going on with me. Keeping it OG, keeping it real, you know. This is the little bro ham I was telling y'all about. I call him bro ham. Some people call him bro. But it looked like bro ham to me. Fleetwood. It's ridiculous, man. People like, they had a moving company, so sometimes people are, uh, They'll ask them like for cars, like they'll trade them cars for work. And then, then they'll end up with all of these cars just out here. I don't know what this is. Get out the way, dog. Get off me. Blue? It's some kind of Buick. You can't really see it that good. Yeah, it's some kind of Buick. That's my grandpa's car that got wrecked. He just held on to it. Put it in the back. Still got some good tires on there, though. I can put those tires on some. Make use of it. Oh, this back tire blown out. But they got they got three decent tires on there. I'm pretty sure the motor good. It's a V6 though. Yeah, man. Let me get a uh, thumbnail. Oh yeah, he used to have a Thunderbird inside that garage. There's probably some more cars inside that garage. I just don't know about the thumbnail. Get a picture right there. Mm -hmm. all these cars. Yeah, that's all I really wanted to show y'all just give y'all an update on what's going on I don't know if I'm going to take this car to Kelly or um, keep it here and fix it up I most likely fix up the truck man I always kind of wanted an old school truck but uh, you know I'm out howling out here. You howling? But yeah, so I'll keep y'all updated on what I do with that. That's just another another part of my life. Just wanted to bring y'all in on. Alright, y'all, holla at you. Next video.